talking about the power of image in our society, I was I was brought to think of it by this picture here of two telephone kiosks. And if you look at them, you'll see uh, what it, what these these comparisons are showing is an old fashioned Gilbert Scott designed telephone box on one side and a modern telephone box on the other. And, uh, you know, this is this is the problem. You look at that and you think, oh, God, what have we lost? Uh, just look at the degeneration of design, of beauty and everything in that second one. Just look at the, 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 the harmony uh, of the, the first one. Well, you know, that's the thing that jumps to mind. And then you have to make an almost physical effort to remind yourself that this is a bit of social manipulation. That phone box there, the red one, is uh, in good condition in a well-maintained part of town, civilised area, probably London, uh, or as civilised as London can get anyway, and uh, it looks harmonious with its surroundings and it looks good. Uh, the other one is very badly maintained. You can see the grass going round it. You can see the poor state of the road next to it. So it's obviously in a neglected suburb uh, somewhere out in the wilds. And of course, uh, being made of aluminium and steel, it, it doesn't match the, uh, the, the park which you can see behind it. And altogether, it's an ugly old thing. But uh, here, hang on, I have another picture here. How about if I put this next to the uh, iron, uh, uh, the steel and aluminium uh, phone box? It's all a matter of, of how you pick your images, isn't it? And unfortunately, we're getting too used to that without feeling outrage about it. Um, the, this, those two photos reminded me of another picture which has surfaced recently of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez being led away from a demo outside the Supreme Court, a pro-abortion demo. Uh, Ilhan Omar similarly uh, did the, the same action. That is, uh, they both put their hands behind their backs as if they were handcuffed while they were being led away. They were not being handcuffed. Their hands were perfectly free. But Ocasio-Cortez was doing that as an image. She didn't mind that people realised that that was an image. Uh, she obviously didn't care because she put her fist up uh, just before they bundled her into the car. So she was making an image which could be circulated even though everybody knew it was a lie and she knew that most of her followers would rationalize that away they'd say oh that's just an image but the the image would be there and there would be many people who wouldn't go into uh, the circumstances surrounding that image so um that's a problem we have become as a society too ready to accept these images. Now, it's not entirely new. Um, if you <laughs> There was a picture, I'll see if I can find it. The Tudors did a picture of Richard III. There was an image of Richard III and they repainted it to make him look more evil. Um, because Henry Tudor, the, the guy who had defeated Richard III, had a very tenuous claim to the throne. Basically, it was a takeover. By the way, a Welsh takeover because Tudor was a Welshman. Um, so it was a, it was a Welsh invasion, really. But uh, so the Tudors had to do an awful lot to um, solidify their bona fides. Let's see that. And here's another image of, um, uh, there's a comparison of weather maps. Uh, 1976, there was a heat wave. It lasted two weeks and the weather stayed in the high 30s for two weeks. There were droughts here because the British 
uh, water supply system is not set up for that sort of thing. That was in 1976. This time, uh, the weather stayed uh, very high for about four days, three or four, really high for about two days. And, and these are the differences in the maps. On the one side, we have, you know, a nice friendly looking sun, you know, sort of it's sunny, enjoy yourself. And on the other side, you're all burning up. And again, this is, we are being manipulated with this. Now, I saw, a, a, I think it was a Huffington Post thing or Guardian, whatever it was. It said uh, the, the comparison photos of these two um, heat waves, uh, they're fake, it says. Well, they're not fake. I mean, it depends on, on how, how fake you want to be. Uh, of course, look, uh, the um uh it doesn't show it at the back of this map uh, it's it's cut off a little bit and and uh, i'm not surprised that it is because it says 40 down there on the right and and the colors are you know really they they've gone completely black uh, as in burnt up from the heat and they're not showing that because they don't want you to see how hysterical this picture is and i couldn't find the full photo um, but you can see how the 1976 thing, the, the temperatures were altogether higher. Uh, they may not have got to 40, but if you look at Scotland, it's 25 there and 22, whereas in Scotland on this occasion, it's 24 and 20. So, uh, and there in uh, Belfast, it's uh, 26 now when it was 29 then so on average i'd say that the temperatures were higher then but there wasn't the hysteria uh, the only problem was that the, by they started running out of water by the end of it i think there were stand pumps and people coming round with trucks full of water for people to uh, uh, use pots and pans and things to get water from so again this is manipulation manipulation of images and although people realize that there are very few who are actually kicking against it i'm one of the ones kicking against it um ah hang on i found another picture i'll show that as well and and just just this is a very good one just look how there's an image of flame in that it's it's not that it's faked it's that it's manipulated and we're too ready to accept that and we shouldn't be um there was a time in the middle ages when people relied on images for how they got their information you see it in stained glass windows in church iconography that was the big thing and the masses got their religious uh, stories from that and then in the 19th century because it was more difficult to print pictures in newspapers uh, there was more writing and people got used to the idea of writing to get their information it seems like we're going back to the medieval iconography again and um I think we better all be careful about that. Okay, I'm Granny Opterix. I am to be found on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Mines. Uh, I am at Granny Opterix on Twitter, Gab and Parlour. Please uh, subscribe to one of those so you get information about uploads. YouTube particularly is not that good about telling you um right uh yeah that's it please like share subscribe you know all the usual stuff and uh, support the channel if you can till next time why not treat yourself or a favored relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch the mugs and t-shirts come in the granny opterix design or grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.